Fun fact, surfers are more likely to carry bacteria that can't be treated with antibiotics because they spend so much time swimming around in and swallowing sewage. Most of the world's best surf breaks are found in countries that have poor sanitation control measures. Mexico, Indonesia, or Morocco aren't well known for dealing with trash and sewage, but even Australia regularly dumps human waste into the ocean. Scientists in the UK were curious how this was affecting surfers, so they took rectal swabs of 273 surfers and non-surfers, and what they found was one out of every 10 surfers were carrying an antibiotic-resistant strain of E. coli, a potentially deadly stomach bug, compared to four out of every 130 non-surfers. Which wasn't a huge problem, they weren't sick, but this particular strain of antibiotic-resistant E. coli has the ability to pass its antibiotic-resistant properties onto other bacteria. This has the potential to create a perfect storm, where an antibiotic-resistant E. coli meets a treatable bacterial infection and gives it its antibiotic-resistant properties. And then this other bacteria becomes an antibiotic-resistant superbug that's spreads around the world and can't be cured with modern medicine. But this isn't a surfer problem, this could happen anywhere. Antibiotic-resistant superbugs are currently listed as one of the top 10 threats to humanity.